Here's some video feedback. Um, I wanted to show you what I'm seeing, and it's really developed well. Um, and I'm, this is also going to be a response to your email uh, of yesterday evening. Uh, okay, so here's your question that you're trying to make your CSX um, style sheet external and link to my external pages. Okay, and you've got the problem seems to be getting the links to understand stepping out of the folder the current open file is contained in. Okay, I think I understand that. Uh, the menu page is not reading the CSS file in the CSS folder. The menu page is looking for the index file in the pages folder. Okay, I um, I noticed that you have triple zero um, web host, and I'm assuming that it's the same as for GeoCities that you have a user ID and a password. So in terms of file management, the easiest thing for us to do would probably be for you to either call me, uh, and then we can I and give me access to your server. I, I won't know, I, I won't be able to see how your files are arranged. I can guess something from file paths, but I won't be able to, to really know what's on your web server um, unless I've got uh, your password, you know, access to it. But um, let me just, I, I'm going to open up what you have. And Heather, this looks really great. Now, I, I'm assuming that this is probably for week six, you know, so um, let's see if you got the problem to work. You've got, well, first of all, let me take it out of developer view. Well, let me not <clears throat> take it out of uh, developer view just yet. This is a, sp a split screen and a uh, really nice job of formatting a menu or getting started on that. You might want to separate that out into separate pages, or you could have a single scrolling pages with jump twos. Um, whoops. Nope. Doesn't think, seem, seem like those work. Um, let me get rid of this. Now, Heather, I'm, I'm taking a, a look at your code. Uh, here's your web page um, in its entirety here. Really nice. Uh, <coughs> Um, navigation bar. I like the rollover effect. It's simple. It uses the uh, corporate palette colors. I'm a little curious to know what this semi-transparent image um, from your web host is that seems to float over everything. I hope it's not something that they impose. I can look through your code to see if it is. Now the first issue I see here is that um, you have a CSS But, or you refer to a CSS, but it is not there. So main CSS, and then the other thing that you've got going on is you have competing, you have an embedded style sheet here, um, which is great. You know, I think that's for week five, if I'm not mistaken. So good job on that. Um, but you can't have both, all right? Uh, and you certainly can't have all three. So if you had any inline styling, I don't see that you do. Uh, this looks pretty clean, the rest of the HTML. If you have any inline styling, it's going to override any embedded styling, and it will override any uh, external style sheet. So best to have an external style sheet. I know that you're working your way towards that. Um, as an embedded style sheet, this looks great. What you're going to have to do is extract this and create a separate file called main.css. Now take a look at the tutorials. It's the uh, HTML5 Foundations Tutorials. And they will, you know, it will tell you how to do that. But I see you've got your uh, unordered list, and it looks like you are beginning to um, uh, position elements. I like this. Uh, you've got the logo. Uh, is it transparent? What is this? Okay. Well, you got the. First of all, you've used the transparent version of the logo. Look how nicely that sits, either on a solid or a photograph. So consider, you know, now that you've got it transparent, you can probably position it anywhere you want using CSS, uh, the div tag and the span tag. So, um, you know, consider putting it where it maybe crosses over both the solid color and the photograph. You've got the menu. I would, you know, separate that out into a child page, and you have this very nice uh, nostalgic photograph in the background. Now, Heather, I've looked, um, I've looked elsewhere in your, um, well, your code 
to find out what this uh, web host thing powered by web host is I'm not sure why it's appearing so large uh, let's see what happens if I zoom out that might be the problem yeah it does get smaller but still quite large does this show up on your um, system I'm glad I zoomed out I see that you've imported quite a few pages you know this is this is looking well I guess the next thing you need to do is figure out how to jump to a certain oh you have so it is a one long scrolling page and with jump twos. Wow. Uh, that's a, that's a legitimate solution, I think. Um, and, but I would maybe make a little bit more distinction between sections. Consider making your photographs larger. Um, I like it when I zoomed in here. You know, the, the scale of elements at that size, perhaps. But it, it zooms in and are out very well. It's simple and it seems like it's going to work. So anyway, back to your uh, CSS, um, you're going to have to extract this, by that I mean, you know, cut and paste it, essentially, uh, into your main CSS document. Um, <clears throat> make sure that wherever you place this, if you embed this in a folder or a directory, perhaps called CSS, uh, make sure that you have the, um, as you here have here, the directory name. Um, so that's, you know, unless it's at the same level as the uh, index.html page, page. index.html page, as you have ascertained here, uh, should be the first page in your website. Now, I don't know how, you know, I may have discussed this earlier, but I don't know how you're going to organize your files. Um, it seems like you're just overwriting your index.html, and which is okay, um, because, I, you know, I see you're progressing in the right direction. But, you know, just consider how you would organize your files on your desktop computer. Uh, and it's really no different than organizing your files on the web server. All right, I hope this is helpful to you, Heather. Um, shoot me another email if uh, I haven't at least given you a direction.